Hi friends, welcome to WebChamp. In this video, I'm going to discuss ODBC connection in Power BI. So how, what is the ODBC? ODBC stands for Open Database Connectivity. And there is a connector called ODBC and you can connect to any of the database, any of the database, any type of database. We can say that uh, MySQL, Oracle SQL, Postgres SQL, or SQL server, anything or any kind of database could be there. Okay. So you can connect to that database using ODBC, but how to connect, right? So in uh, get data, if you go to the more in Power BI, okay. So you have an option uh, called ODBC, ODBC. And uh, by clicking on this, it will allow you to connect with uh, various ODBC sources. But you are supposed to create then what you, um, database uh, connections, okay, with this ODBC, and that is what referred by using DSN data source name. So you are supposed to create a data source name. And then how to create that? Okay, what you can do. You can open any browser, okay, and uh, let's search uh, any type of database have uh, ODBC connection drivers. So you can search ODBC drivers for, let me say MySQL. Okay, I will show you only for the MySQL. You can go to uh, this download link and you are supposed to download the compatible driver suppose if i download this okay. let's download you can do this uh, for any other oracle and all oracle also has odbc driver or it supports so e almost every database supports open database connectivity source so if i say this okay this is for taking a time to open let me run this okay you are supposed to install this and uh, since i already installed on my system so it is giving me the option instead of modify it should give me the uh, what we can say that instead of modify it should give me the installation option so it is already there so i'm not going to install but this is how you can install okay then what you can do once it is done or once installation is done your next step is to so search, go to the window and search ODBC, okay, and open data source administration, ODBC administration uh, window you are supposed to open. So here you can add the DSN. So these names are data source name for ODBC connection from there, okay. So what you can do, you can go to the add and you can select the appropriate drivers. I will for MySQL, I will select this MySQL. Okay. And I will say finish or uh, any anything would be good. Okay. I will say ANSI driver. Okay. This is how it works. Then it will ask you data source name. It can be anything. I will say YouTube. MySQL is my data sets name. Okay. Then uh, we can enter host as a local host then it has picked a port because drivers are configured right installation happens on system then it will ask you for the user details whatever the password you have you can enter that password and let's say test. so connection is successful the moment it's a connection successful you are able to use this from excel or from what do we have? power bi okay so if you want to select the database uh specific to the database you can select so i will say sales data and i will say okay so here you can see that uh, one data source uh, got added into my this uh, list of data source names okay and connections or database credentials we already given there. 
So if I go here, since it was already loaded and uh, later on, we created that connection. I mean, ODBC source name, it will not pick that. Okay. So you are supposed to reselect the ODBC and then it should show you the YouTube MySQL. So here you can see that YouTube MySQL is there. Okay. I'm not going to pass any SQL query. Okay. If I do not pass, definitely it will give me the tables from sales data. Okay. And you can see that how it works. And it is asking me for the database, database credentials we have, right? Root. And what is your password? You can enter that password. And I will say connect. It will make the connection and you can see that these are the databases in my system. Out of that, I would like to connect with this and from this, I would like to pick the data of sales. Okay. So this is how it works. I, I will select this table and I will say, okay. Your data get loaded into power, power BI model. So here you can see that the data will be loaded. Right. So this is how it works. ODBC connection can be used to connect with a database. Suppose if you wants to uh, connect with uh, MySQL, uh, not MySQL, okay, SQL Server. SQL Server is uh, already installed on my system. So what I will do, I will just go to the ODBC. Okay. Uh, when you install this SQL Server, it it's what we can say the ODBC uh, drivers will get installed automatically. So if you go to the ad, you can see that these drivers I can use. So I will use these drivers. Okay. And I will say finish. The moment I say finish, uh, it will ask you to uh, enter the name. I will say SQL YouTube. Or let me say YouTube SQL Server. Right. And then description, if you want to put, you can put, then you can select or enter. So I don't want to in, uh, select, I mean, you can in, enter your credentials, oh, sorry, server name. And I will say SQL Express. Let, let me check whether this is correct or not. What you can do, or you can open Management Studio. If there, you will see your server for this SQL server. So that can be used to connect with the SQL database. So this is what my name. Okay. So I can copy directly from here. It's not, it is, this is not case sensitive, but still I would like to use this. And on next line, I will say next. Okay. Uh, Windows authentication, I will say, okay. Uh, because I don't have any other credentials and all. And next, don't need to change anything. If you want to select any specific database, you can go here and you can select the database. I will select WebChamp. Okay. And I will say next. Then uh, if you want to use the uh, data encryption and all, then you can select the appropriate options for you. And I will say finish okay it will ask you to test test it successfully completed meaning our connection is working fine okay now i don't need this i suppose to pull the data fetch the data from there so what we can do we can go to the odbc again Search here ODBC. Click on this and let's see. So here you will get a DSN option, a YouTube SQL server, right? If you want to uh, enter the SQL query, you can enter. We have selected a specific database. So it, let's see how this works. I will say Windows. Okay, or customer default, we can say this is optional and I will say connect. from windows also you can go 
it will use your current current credentials and all. But if you have details about database, you can use that also. Let, let's say we encode it. Okay. So that might be because of uh, what we can say. Credentials. Let, let's see what it will do or how this will work. What credential mode I used? Okay, there is a delay in login response. It's fine. Okay, I, I will cancel out this and we will go for another connection request. So here we can see like this or yes, in the morning, uh, only, I mean, earlier I have created a SQL server. We can use that also. Same thing I did there, but let's not use. Okay, let's use our connection. It should pick up for authentication mode. Okay, maybe my but server is in running state. Okay. Oh, there is an issue. Server uh, is not in running mode. Right, 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 right. That's that's why it is giving me the issue. Let's see. SSMS. Let me say connect. Okay. Let, let's see whether it is accepting the connection from here. So well, that should work that there will not be any issue. I think there is an issue at server end. Okay. The moment uh, I restarted my SQL server, it got connected from the same point and uh, we can select to web champ and inside of that we have a schema called a dbo then we have a table called sales data okay and we can load the data so this is how we can use odbc connections to connect with databases and your data will get loaded into the database okay, since again it is taking a time to get connected but it will not uh, earlier this was not working right so this this will not work when uh, you and you will not see anything related to your sql server and all in here in if your connection is not working or your server is not in running state okay it has loaded okay it is working little slow okay let's not uh, spend much time on this let's uh finish this okay it will get finished somehow so this was related to uh, just show you how you can use odbc connections to connect with databases so i will cancel that and yes, after loading the data, we know data will get loaded. I hope uh, you like the content of this video. Thank you so much for watching the video. Have a nice day. Uh, please do not forget to subscribe to WebChamp.